The Russian Five, part international thriller, part love letter to the Red Wings, and all the intrigue not even a Hollywood screenwriter could have come up with. The movie relives the triumphs and the tragedy of Fedorov, Larianov, Fetisov, Kozlov, Konstantinov. Boy, those were names. They gave us some thrills. What an era for the Detroit Red Wings. The proceeds of tonight's red carpet premiere go to the Konstantinov Medical Trust to help with continuing expenses after Vladdy's 1997 limo accident that ended his career. Our Mara McDonald was on the red carpet tonight. She joins us from Royal Oak. Mara. Guys, the movie is terrific, and it doesn't even matter whether you're a Wings fan or whether you love hockey because it's about so much more than what went on on the ice. The team I took over in 1982 was in the Detroit River, quite frankly. I don't mean to be rude or anything, but you don't have any kind of a hockey club. I knew that there were good players in Russia. Jimmy Devolano's voice takes you right back to the Bravo Russian Five era and the story that unfolds on how they got Sergei Fedorov out of the then Soviet Union might as well be a spy thriller. I've never been more scared in my life. Assembling Fedorov, Larionov, Fetisov, Kozlov, and Konstantinov, and how it revitalized the franchise was only a part of the story Jenny Fedorovich and Joshua Real wanted to tell. Uh, to be able to tell the story and have the you know, Vladdy see it and then his daughter see it with them and to respond positively to it. Um, it helps us know we, we did right by the story. The last guy that's ever going to come is Vladimir Konstantinov. Vladi, Vladimir Konstantinov was the special guest at tonight's red carpet premiere because in many ways the story is his. From the beginning of the Russian Five to the 1997 car accident right after they had won the Stanley Cup that left him unable to play hockey ever again. There's going to be Red Wings players here and people from the organization. I hope the takeaway from them is like, wow, they really captured it. He got it. He got it from my point of view and I lived it, is that the, that the love, the respect. Players like McCarty, who lived it, walked the carpet as well as some of the team's big name fans. What the Russian Five did was, uh, it was just something that was, it transcended hockey. And when the lights came up, I love it. I think that they're great people. They're obviously great hockey players. I just wish I could have been alive to see those players play. Now, the proceeds from the red carpet premiere go to the Konstantinov Medical Trust, but they're also donating a portion of the proceeds from the entire film. You can catch it at Select Imagines. We're in Royal Oak. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.